So how to ace having a job that you don't like. <laughs> um, that's what this video is going to be about. So if you have had your spiritual awakening and you see the world for what it is and you um, and you understand and see the, um, you know, the matrix and, you know, you see all the how it's just such an illusion and, and a lot of people are just kind of living in um, living tied up into that matrix but but you see it so you're sort of out of it but you have to kind of still be in it because you still live in it right so still have to make money still have to support ourselves you know still have to support the family and all that kind of stuff so sometimes we still have to have a regular job until we um i mean maybe you've you've had some kind of gifts come online and that kind of thing like i have um and just kind of uh wanting to do wanting to do something else something that you feel like you're meant to do but right now it's just not happening at the moment so um the more you stay attached to that uh to that other thing that you want the more you're, you know, the more resistance that you're putting towards it and the less likely it'll come quickly, right? So <sighs> I've learned <laughs> so much in the last few months in working in customer service. So I got a little job working from home. I told myself I'm not going back to work every day, you know, and so at least I have kept that little vow to myself. So I'm working from home, a customer service job. And I really, like, I love it because I'm at home and, like, I can work in my pajamas and and all that. But I really hate it at times because it drains my energy. You know, talking to people, um, customer service is difficult sometimes. People call and they have real problems and, you know, they're upset. Sometimes they can't, um, sometimes it's a really serious situation. I work at a company um, for Medicare. So sometimes it's really a, a huge issue and the people really need help, you know, and they're angry, but they really need help. So for a while, it really just drained me and it really just, and it still does some days, but I had to realize, so if you have had your spiritual awakening and, um, and all this, then most likely you'll be a person that wants to be of service, right? You know, a lot of people, you know, I want to help people. A lot of people say that I want to help people. Well, guess what? My little job is helping people. It might not be helping people with my spiritual gifts that I wanted to use because, you know, my ego is like, you know, do this. It's just, it's just all, guess what? Anything that you do, just do it well. And just do it to help people and do it with a good heart and keep your heart open. You know, if we keep our heart open, then it'll make so many things more, e it'll make so many things easier, especially dealing with the public on a daily basis that are not, ha people that are not happy sometimes. Um, and so I just, I thought it was important to make a video like this because I know a lot of people are still having to, to use the um you know the job system to um to make money so and i know a lot of people don't like their jobs and for me it was like at first i was like if i don't like it i'm not going to do it you know i gotta raise my frequency i gotta do only the things that i want to do well you know what sometimes sometimes you just gotta like what you're doing even if you don't like it sometimes you just gotta learn how to let that be your curriculum let that be your teaching right now. Let that be your life lesson right now. All we're doing is learning. All this is, is is a school of evolution. So maybe this is just my curriculum, you know? And I really believe that that's what it is. I've prayed about it. I've meditated on it. I've, you know, gotten guidance on it. And I'm still doing what I love to do. It's the energy healing. Um, but I feel like these people need me right now and I feel like I need now I realize when I look at it from kind of like from looking on the outside looking in I'm realizing that this is what I need I've got to learn how to deal 
with people that are unhappy. I've got to learn how to be, have that service heart and have that service mentality. Um, Cause that's what, you know, my, that's what my whole intention is, is to love everyone. So my intention is, it's funny, but my cat's freaking out. Um, is to love all and serve all. <laughs> love all and serve all. So I have all of these opportunities to somehow love these people that might be yelling at me. And I have all these opportunities to serve all these people. You know, isn't life ironic how it just gives you what you ask for? And it just gives you what you need, maybe what you need to learn. So this is my curriculum. And I am acing it now. Um, even on the days that, that I still feel like my energy has been sucked out of me, I can just meditate and I could just ground myself back again. I could just clear my energy, bring the positive energy back. And, you know, at least I know how to do that. Thank God I know how to do that. So hopefully, hopefully this video helped you. And if it did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos. I do an energy healing live session every Thursday night at 7 o'clock. And I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. Namaste. Much love.